Hey everybody and welcome back to another Disventure Camp interview. My name is Silly Billy but you can call me Billy. This episode comes out a little later than usual and that is because I was away on vacation but now I'm back and apparently so are you so let's get this show going. Today I have not one but two beautiful guests to annoy so let's waste no further time and introduce our very first guest. She's a proofreader for season 1 and a pitch writer for season 3 as well as an avid lover of you and his spicy abs. Give a warm welcome to Kitty Cooley, aka Tam. Tam, welcome to the show. Hello. Hey guys, nice to meet you. I'm Tam. I'm Drew's voice actor. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I've seen so many people claim that by now. <laughs> One of the comments on the episode three video is also just a random person going, Hi guys, it's me, Drew. Yeah, I see and, that. And Odd Nation's uh, hearted it as well. So people were like, Wait, what is happening yeah. here? You guys have to find out who's the real one. I, I think people are mostly confused because there were actually some voice lines in the audition for Drew. Really? So you could audition yeah. for Drew's voice actor even though he doesn't have any lines. Wow. <laughs> so, oh my so gosh. Far. So far, yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, you may have noticed a second voice right there. So let me quickly introduce our second guest so that he can join in on the conversation. <laughs> our second guest today shares the same roles as Chan in that he is a proof writer and a pitch writer as well. But you may also know him as the voice of Kai from this Venture Camp Season 2 or as one of its biggest criticists. Please extend your warm <laughs> welcome to JPEG. Well, hello there, everyone. It's not my real voice. So many people think it's my real voice. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> I, is it, uh, that's actually a, a, a funny first question. Is the voice straining on your voice? So if you were to do this interview entirely in Kai's voice, would you be sore afterwards? Yeah, so funnily enough, the voice I got cast in is probably one of the hardest for me to do. So <laughs> quite the shame. Yeah, Can't do too much oh, of it. <laughs> poor you. Well, you didn't have to keep it up for for all too long. <laughs> I think the least amount. I think he gets the least amount of lines in season two. We've done it. The duck meets the goose. Right? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I titled the episode that we're going to do right now uh, the bashing on DC two episode yes. because we have here two guests who uh, very much are familiar with this venture camp season two. Uh, JPEG, let's start with you because you have been very vocal about uh, this venture <laughs> camp season two. Yeah. <laughs> It's out of love for Jared and Robert. I love them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good That's a good heads up to, to start with. Jared, Robert, yeah. may you be watching. We all love you. It's a fun show. We love you, Robert. <laughs> but <laughs> we, we are going to dive a little bit more into this Venture Camp Season 2, as well as the eliminated character of today. Um, unfortunately, his voice actor mm. couldn't make it because he doesn't <laughs> exist. <laughs> uh, so, of course, the eliminated character is Drew, but we'll dive into him a little bit later. Uh, first, Adventure Camp Season 2. I am very curious uh, for your opinions about this. So, who, according to you, was the best and the worst character? Ooh, I might be a little biased. I might be a little biased. But, <laughs> God, I, I love y'all. Like, I just, I love what the flavor that he brought. Even though y'all 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 don't like him that much i know i know he's <laughs> he's racist he's mean he's he's rude but oh god he just like really brought like the whole antagonistic role like very well in the first half of the season i don't know i love him in his spicy abs so <laughs> <laughs> there it is i did really enjoy watching ria i know people on this uh channel don't really like ria that mm. much um, I, I may have some opinions on Rhea. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just really love the baddies of DC. I just love the antagonists. I don't know. <laughs> I yeah. do love James, though. I wonder James, too. So, yeah. Yeah, for me, too. It's, uh, well, excluding Rhea, the, the baddies were on top on, of my list as well. I, I adored yes, Yule. I and that. he was... The, the fun thing about Yule is that he is so over the top, a, a son of a gun... That you, you just, you really love to hate the guy. And uh, JPEG, what about you? Was it Kai? Um, <laughs> uh, no, as much as I'd love to say Kai, the fact that he's only like three episodes, is a darn shame. I think the best is, and I think we can all agree on this for the most part, it's like Lake, right? <laughs> I think that out of yes. the characters, she's probably the most like coherent and uh, straightforward with her story. But in yeah. my opinion, and Tam might be surprised about this, but uh, I think my favorite is uh, actually Rosa now. I think now that the oh. season's over, I can look yeah. back and I'd be like, you know what? I think I think she had a purpose and she she did it well. I, I like Rosa, uh, but uh, and I definitely grew closer to her uh, the longer she stayed in. Uh, but for me, Rosa, the first couple of episodes with Rosa are are so empty 
There's not really yeah. a lot that she does right there. And then towards yeah. the end, and especially in the uh, in the finale where she's already long gone, then she becomes a really interesting character. Yeah, it's like a really good supporting character, but for like as an individual, I'm like I'm not really as interested just because like we're not given a lot about her. Really? No, no, exactly. That's it for me as well. And then in the in the yeah. start, there's not a lot of... Th there is a backstory there, but it's not really mm -hmm. explored all that much. My logic is that while some of the characters have higher highs, some of them also just have lower lows. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's true, true kind of like, too. Yeah. Very Rose is kind of in the middle. So it's like, because yes. she's in the middle, I'm like, eh, you know, she's not that bad. I like her. <laughs> there, there's a lot of a little less positive things to say about most of the characters. <laughs> and for me, that's probably why oh. Oliver ended up taking third, because he goes home so early that there's not really anything bad to say about him. <laughs> 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 yeah. The same with you, because with you, there's, there's so much bad, but at least it's intentional. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I sense that the bashing has already started. There were a couple of uh, people in the Silly Billy Duck Pond Discord, uh, by the way. You can join that by visiting the link down below. There you can ask some questions for future interviews. And one of the questions I got repeatedly, I, I didn't put this in because I'm biased. I swear it wasn't me who asked this question. There were multiple people. <laughs> but the most repeated question I got is, can we kill Rhea? There were four people who asked this oh question. My. <laughs> oh, dear. Four questions. Oh, my. Four people. Okay. Uh, yeah, so yeah, shout out to uh, Mimikyu, Mint, Jed, and Neon for all asking if we could get rid of Rhea in some sort oh. of horrid way. Wow. <laughs> an eye for an eye. An eye and for an eye, she tried to kill Aiden, so now they want to kill Rhea. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> oh, maybe it's that. So uh, I, I have a, a little more serious question uh, related to that because uh, Flower Miles asked, uh, what was with all the Rhea hate? JPEG, you want to take a stab? about this <laughs> yeah I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take a brief stab because i can be here for hours and hours <laughs> um i think the thing with Rhea is that she has like solid foundations she's a good setup in the first few episodes um and i think the ending uh, needed to be more justified the middle was a lot more like kind of like scarlet i don't know if you guys agree with this but kind of like scarlet from pocketail island where you know she works with max max who's the evil guy uh she talks about how she likes you know hurting and bullying her big brother she talks about wanting world domination and all that stuff and, and, until eventually the scarlet fever episode when she goes crazy right Rhea didn't have that. Rhea was very, like, very nice and normal. And there was, like, little bit of hints. But then again, in that episode when she goes kind of berserk, um, it's, it's, like, really over the top. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll add to that because, for me, what annoyed me the most is that Rhea is definitely set up as a character that you want to feel sympathy for. And they mm -hmm. continue on that sympathy tra uh, train after that she has become this over-the-top evil son of a gun. So exactly. you are both meant mm -hmm. to feel like she is on top of the game and this strategic mastermind. And she is dominating and sending everybody home and has this crazy elaborate plan. But then also, she's she's really sorry about what she's doing. Oh, no. <laughs> and <laughs> I just, I, I couldn't get into either side of it because they kept wanting to drag yeah. me to the other side. I love, like, the building of her insecurity and all that but like the last few episodes it really became like kind of like a cartoonish kind of villain yeah and it was like that that role is more fitting for like yule and stuff she really tried to kill aiden yeah or, like leave him hanging there and the next episode we're really just supposed to like believe like oh she should be forgiven or something and i'm just like uh i don't know we didn't really come that night that smoothly to the conclusion no but, true which yeah. is Kind of what makes me interested for Rhea most of all to see a return ever mm -hmm. because I am right. really curious where the story picks up with her from here. If they're going to focus more on the uh, empathic please feel sorry for me side or more on the screw it I'm just evil now side because you can't really balance both. We've seen that tried and it didn't work. So mm -hmm. I'm wondering right. which of these sides they're going to adapt if she ever makes it back to another season. I mean, nothing's yeah. confirmed just yet, but I feel like it's a pretty safe bet that Rhea will be there, being one of the main antagonists of the previous season, knowing that it may or may not be All-Stars. It definitely is. <laughs> but we don't know that <laughs> officially just yet. You will see more of her. Maybe. If it makes you feel better, you have at least until the end of 2023 to not see Rhea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For like plotline, I still, I, I did really enjoy like how Rhea became a different, a whole different person like by the end of it. I don't know. I just always rooted for her. I don't know what possessed me to root for her, but <laughs> I, I feel that kind of like isolation that she felt like in trying to like build herself up. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, this is a, a common thing with, with people from the uh, from the Discord as well. There were a lot of people rooting for Rhea, and when you ask them why, it's just, I don't know, I like her. <laughs> or <laughs> yeah. a, a common answer I also saw was like, well, we're not going to give it to Aiden and James, so I guess Rhea <laughs> remains. <laughs> the lesser of four evils. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm throwing Hunter in there as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, justified. Yeah. So I'm guessing, uh, JPEG, uh, Hunter wasn't your favorite um, character slash storyline of this season. So... Uh, again, very briefly, could be here for hours. Mm -hmm. um, I do think that the very low hanging fruit is the love triangle, obviously. Yeah. Um, now, if you want the specifics, it's just that so many of their scenes are like off screen when it really shouldn't be. Uh, you know, episode uh, one of the episodes they're talking about, oh, Hunter's acting strange, but we don't see him act strange. He doesn't get any screen time. Another episode, uh, they talk about the whole dating outside the game deal. That's like a big deal for them in episode nine, right? Don't date inside the game, and we don't see that. We don't see that scene where they talk about it. It's completely yeah. off screen. It's like what? Why is that off screen that's so important to them? Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of true. Like, that was actually why I, uh, when I made the character ranking, I put Maggie at the bottom because Ma Maggie has this entire journey of becoming who yeah. she wants to be with Kai off screen. Mm -hmm. We never see any of it. But yeah, mm -hmm. with the with the love triangle, it's actually the same issue, but way longer because Maggie yes. is at least gone people. in episode five, and that's not <laughs> the same for Hunter. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And it's with three people instead of just one as well. Yeah, <laughs> true, yes. true, true, true. And it's not that they did a bad job; it's that I think they just did almost nothing with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they they didn't really do a job with it. <laughs> what is the uh, end of the the love triangle arc? Are they now a happy? Uh, oh my god! Three-way couple, uh, uh, thruple, I believe, <sighs> or are they friends, or or is somebody with somebody but not with somebody else? And it, it, I don't know. Explain. <laughs> so my takeaway is that until they're necessary for another future season, uh, just pretend that they're dead. Um, <laughs> until they're required, <laughs> assume they're dead until no. proven otherwise. That's the rule. Oh my god! No, I'd like to think that they're they're still friends. Um, anything else i don't know it would seem messy to me right now <laughs> yeah same for me yeah and that's it just best friends <laughs> that's yeah. it but no further no no other things required so um <clears throat> of course uh writers learn from their mistakes <laughs> and with the case of this venture camp season two there were a couple so what would you guys say is the the main takeaway for well probably this season because it's not finished of course uh, but mainly also for seasons after this i think just like definitely balancing out the storylines knowing when to end one will be good and not like having it outrun it's time my biggest um way to improve would be to like make the world feel more alive you know mm -hmm. so when, when stuff happens like you have hunter lasting 13 episodes and james and aiden and they all have they only have one conversation to their name <laughs> yeah <laughs> right. conversation. Yes. it's not great it makes the world not feel like connected which is interesting because i found it a weird not really good approach that they um went on to address that this was actually a thing on the season so you have uh, I believe it's 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 James and Rosemaria in the finale of DC2 and he's like um, Listen, I know we haven't talked that much this season like oh, sure gosh. Okay, that yeah. we don't get to see it fine, but please don't address yeah. that the characters exactly. themselves have not interacted for straight two weeks It just really makes you accept the truth like these people did not talk at all There's a um interesting detail like the cabins are like miles away from each other I How was like are? so shocked. Yeah, they're like very far away. Oh. Yeah, but I, I couldn't imagine just like walking all the way over there to the no. other side of the cabin <laughs> to talk to these people. Like, I don't know. <laughs> well, that gives a whole different direction to um, this yeah. Adventure Camp Season 1 where Gabby sneaks right. off to go talk to Ellie. That just yeah. means that she goes on a two hour walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> social distancing. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. yeah, so for me, I'll add one uh, more, which I thought was an interesting uh, detail that somebody pointed out to me in the Discord is that uh, I believe this Venture Camp Season 2 was uh, written with characters designed by other people. That you could uh, submit your own design, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, of course, very few people are going to design a character that is intentionally made to be the first boot. So you have a lot of characters <laughs> right? that are designed with an entire story arc in mind, but then mm -hmm. go and get the chance to do that because everybody wants it, and if only one of or two can get it, then the rest don't. 
Um, and then you have right. characters like Maggie, who are in principle a very interesting idea for a character. You know, you have this socially awkward type who um, gets to ultimately fend a little more for herself, become a little more extrovert. Uh, that, and then mm -hmm. in reality, we only get that setup, and then nothing happens with that setup, and then the character is eliminated, and then the setup is paid mm -hmm. off somewhere along the lines, but we don't ever see where. Right. So, uh, I think that is also an interesting take for if there is indeed going to be an all-star season where we have these characters that are now established, so we, we right. do have the groundwork for characters and there's no longer a need for that person needs to go far, that person needs to go out quick. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I hope that that helps in getting, uh, like you guys said, a little more cohesive of a story together. Right. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. especially... Yeah, because the audience is now like familiar with these characters, and I think like that was like kind of became a problem for DC too. Yeah, it's just like you felt like all of these characters were trying to be protagonists of their own story, but like it exactly. didn't. Yeah, <laughs> you, you it need... didn't really translate that well. No, no, no. Exact except for Rosa, who literally yeah. says that she's a support character. Right. Yeah, so like we just like really needed that kind of balance, but now that everybody is familiar with these characters, like there's a lot of uh, grounds to build off of. So like, yeah, writing for All Star is gonna be definitely gonna be interesting. It's yeah, cool. for sure, for sure. I think we need to move on to this Venture Camp season one, which is ultimately what we're reviewing here. Mm. Let's yeah. talk about our main boy, the Drew Man. I uh, want to uh, start this segment off with a little screenshot slash a quote. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, when we as the uh, proofreaders were given a little draft for the characters, there were a little uh, personality cards about each character. Why they want to win, uh, what are they about, uh, just to help us uh, read the script a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> according to Jared and Robert, uh, in order to give a focus and screen time to other characters, we had to sacrifice Drew. I was <laughs> dying at that. <laughs> I, oh, I lost it when I, when I read that. <laughs> Oh, so, um, oh my God. <laughs> Drew is literally a sheep for slaughter. That is his character. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Drew. But, um, wait, wait, hold on. Oh sheep God. for slaughter? But yeah. that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, so yeah. we have our slaughter sheep, Drew. It's really rude, I know, but here he yeah. is. And then the most unexpected thing happened. Drew has a giant fan base. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That I was so was unexpected. Surprised. Drew's Drew's elimination. It was sad for me, but I was also laughing because of the card that Jared gave us. Yeah. <laughs> for sacrifice. For sacrifice. Um, yeah. Gosh, that was all in my mind. So, um, it was a total surprise to see like the fan base really loved Drew. Yeah. And I felt like yeah, the animation like they really plussed it up for his character like with all the sound effects and all his like innocent like mannerisms like now i can like really see the appeal for like drew yeah but like yeah. Right, reading the script like you don't really because he doesn't say no lines no so exactly i'm because like not really attached when yeah. i uh, first read the, the the script for the first couple of episodes i was actually groaning a little bit at the side of drew because yeah, it's yet exactly. another mute character and there's only right. so many fun things that you can do with a mute character and i think we yeah. saw exactly. most of it with b from total drama and then oh, afterwards, yeah. you know, we, they tried a similar thing with, with Beardo and Pocketu, and to me, that is just a really weak character. So, another mute character, what are you gonna do with this again? Ugh. But then, yeah. it, it really is the animation and the, the little emojis that he writes on his title card, and just drew his little so adorable cute. bean, and, and he's just yeah. really cute. <laughs> yeah. Drew is an average kid who no one understands. So now he's gone. So what do we think of Drew's elimination? Was it uh, was it meant to be? Was it preventable? Uh, like personally, I think it's kind of like Kai and Connor, where it's like, yeah, it's heartbreaking, but you know that's what they were designed for. Yeah. And it's like you know, you, you, we all need some early game heartbreak, right? Or else the mm -hmm. you know, if your favorites always make the end, then it's not suspenseful, right? <laughs> that's true. Yeah. We, yeah. It's necessary damage. <laughs> <laughs> His whole like being mute, like Jared and Robert like they can't be expected to like really dive into a story like that no. and Drew was meant to be used for a certain purpose and he was um if we're gonna see more of him I don't know but like yeah I think that he really like in the time that he got he came off as very charming and um yeah I see why people like him. Agree with the point that you say like Drew is definitely used as to move the plot along rather than to have his own little arc 
And right. for me, the most interesting thing to come out of Drew is Dan. Because Dan in the original is just gone after one episode. He, he gets manipulated this way or the team is manipulated into voting out Dan. Now it's <laughs> Drew. And now Dan mm -hmm. is here to react to that. And I am really curious what that yeah. means for his character. Yeah, when yeah. the first uh, two boots are male, and neither of them are Dan, that that uh, shook us. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. <laughs> the role that Dan has is, is just really great coming from the original. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's more than three lines. Love yeah. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think it is time that we start watching this episode. I believe that's what most of you came here for. Oh, heck yeah. I don't yes. know if you guys heard that, but there's something uh, crumbling out outside. This was one of the first episodes where we used the uh, the Google Doc, I believe, to like uh, see each other's oh. comments. Oh right. yeah, true. Yeah. 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 So I think because of that, there are a lot more uh, of the proofreaders changes starting in episode three. Oh, right. Okay. The one that did ha end up happening in episode two, from my part, was uh, the Tom and Jake one. Uh, mm -hmm. they, the, the interaction that they have ends up in the original with them uh, hugging it out. And now it's just Tom laying a hand on Jake's shoulder. And I think yeah. I, it's not to toot my own horn here, but I, I think it's a big improvement over <laughs> yeah. the original. Yeah. Because okay, we all like, know how Tom is, so yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Tom Jake shippers will be at your door. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let, him, let him come. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take them all. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Previously on this venture camp, the oh. teams faced off on their first immunity <laughs> challenge. On the teal team, Gabby found the immunity totem. Oh yeah, I kind of glasses. forgot about that. <laughs> on purple, Fiora went looking for the same totem, but to no avail. No. In the end, Will's fear of sliding down the mountain wore off Fiora's patience, costing her team the challenge. Will desperately tried to expose Fiora's actions, but nobody believed him, and he became the first one voted out. Thirteen remain. God, these graphs, I love them so much. They're so clean. Yes. Teal team. Grab that image. Right. Oh, hi, Gabby. Where are you going? Now, okay. go find Ellie. But if Ooh, Greg Green Goblin. Out, she's going to be mad. <laughs> Gabby, too. <laughs> Who cares what that fat girl thinks? Okay, I try to get back quickly. Gabby's fat phobic. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Or at least one part of her is. Yeah. You think the VA does the good one first and the evil one or both at the same time? Gabby. Oh, that's, that's a good question. That's <laughs> good. Is it just I wanted to know if you were out of the game. Well, I'm here. I'm not oh, in the best clearly position. here, Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I, mm, I want to tell you something. Sure. What's up? I found an immunity to them. Uh, if you feel in danger, give me a signal in this challenge and I'll secretly pass into you. <laughs> Cute. Wow. Gabby. Aww. Would you really do that for me? Why? Well, you're the only person who was nice to me on that team. Aww. I'm sorry Aww. to hear that. Gabby and Ellie are thanks cute. Thanks for worrying about me. <laughs> God damn it, they're cute. Of course, best. We can work at the uh, go dinner together. Now, oh God. <laughs> I'm surprised at how quickly Gabby got attached. Oh, walked like two miles. Yeah, yeah now it's the only thing I can think. Yeah, like, Ellie's going on a marathon for this. All right, uh, Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby's voice a lot lower, but I like it's it. It's a shame. Yeah. Lower than I thought. But I like yesterday's it. elimination. I know. I'm still very confused. Ladies, we did what we had to do. Yeah. That punk life <laughs> you screws loose. Anything this guy says is amazing. Like I love it so much, right? <laughs> For some bloody reason, Lil was defending Will and Ashley. I can't take this man serious. So <laughs> Michael was the one who wrote a lot of his uh, British music. So oh, really? Yep. I'm not At right. one point, I just started pitching in, just make him as British as possible. <laughs> In the finale, he's like, I'm like, not actually British, guys. So I, forget. Yeah. I was acting. I was, I was <laughs> acting, Rosa. <laughs> I love the Dan Gabby so friendship. It's so wholesome. I love it. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> okay, Waldo and Gabby fine. being best friends. Hey, how's it going, Miriam? Can't you see it's still cooking? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I wanted to ask you if you're okay. You've been kind of upset since we got here and... Whatever happened to minding your own business? Go bother someone else, kid. I don't know what I was thinking coming here. If it weren't for my retirement money, I wouldn't be here. 
Can we all agree that the uh, Miriam voice change from Adventure Camp to now is so much better? <laughs> I, I, I'm yet to hear the original, but I heard it wasn't good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, we need to show him before the interview ends. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Uh, your notebook? <laughs> no, I haven't seen oh, it. Oh, true. Hey, campers, it's challenge time. Oh boy, so much screen time. I love that. Welcome to your challenge. <laughs> Today, you will test your ability to face your I have a friend named Dan who just acts exactly like him. So oh, really? <laughs> you will go through the maze behind me. On your journey, you will encounter several. Oh, I love Oliver. By a picture of <laughs> He's one of your Oliver. To continue, that Thank teammate has to go through the door and he face seems too happy. Inside. He needs to be traumatized. Right. If you succeed, you may continue on your way. If you decide to not face a fear, that's totally fine. You'll just have to wait a little bit longer. It's not a little long. In fact, you yeah, have to same. wait I'm a little biased, minutes. but same. In case you decide not to face the challenge, you must mark Fun the fact, uh, Tam and I had a big role in getting uh, Derek's first team to design reach changed, so we got him to change him to look more mature. Really? <laughs> And extra water That's why his skin is like the more manly, I guess. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> We're so close to the first gate. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Don't worry, Fiore. I'm sure these scares are harmless. Off we go, lads. You auditioned for Miriam, I auditioned for uh, Fiore. First. <laughs> oh, I should have oh, done that. <laughs> yeah. Out of sharks. You must swim in a pond with a shark for faith. <laughs> Fiore. Of cemeteries. <laughs> you must go alone. Tom looks so judgy. What the hell? Ten right. minutes. <laughs> I thought this was the wilderness. Maybe it's a pet graveyard. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's a little too cheery. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Jake. Oh, How much time is left? Thank you, pussy. Thirty seconds. <laughs> oh, hello. Don't look at him. Just close your eyes. Don't worry, mate. Sharks are harmless. <laughs> oh, done. Great. A, a shark is literally oh, facing you, and you're like, just, just close your eyes. Just pretend it isn't yeah. there. <laughs> Close your if eyes, you can't see it, it can't see you. The <laughs> they only watched uh, Jurassic <laughs> Park. They only know the dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Time's up. Come on. Uh oh. A little emotional part. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, so cute. Oh. <laughs> there is someone in the watermelon boys growing up. <laughs> all your hair. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. We'll take the penalty. Why? Hair grows back. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I so saw Heather in Total Drama Island. I saw Heather in TDI. <laughs> <laughs> You no wig. must spend 15 minutes in an isolation room. Who's better, Jensen or Marcus? Mm. What? Uh, Nina easy. above both of them, well, and then Jensen above Marcus. Not. <laughs> Oi, Lil, I still don't get it. Oi. Why were you defending <laughs> Will so much? <laughs> I had a feeling I could trust him. All my life, I worked with girls Fiore's age, and I feel that something's not right with her. What do you mean? Just look at her. She looks like a little baby toilet. <laughs> Have you seen how uh, she writes on the That's my notebook? line. I'm so proud I of that line. Right <laughs> nice. Hey, little baby Let's go to the next one. <laughs> Follow me. Cam suggested a lot of uh, southernisms. Yeah. I added it on her. Oh, <laughs> good. They do this to you again. <laughs> Countryism. You should make them pay. <sighs> it's just up there. I'll be out in few minutes. What makes you believe that? You leave right now and take your revenge. Oh god. <laughs> well, oh, no. now they all know that Gabby's crazy. <laughs> well done. Now let's go to the next one. Fear of confronting your past. <laughs> you must be a Cheesecake! <laughs> oh, my God. oh, it's so over the top. Cheesecake. I love it. <laughs> cheesecake! Oh what? Whatever the VA is, it's amazing job. Personal. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah LJ, LJ, LJ does a really good job of voicing Jensen. What the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell? Was that? <laughs> he said the line, Bart. 
Oh, that was you, fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> he feared a fried chicken. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, no, 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 no. The thumbnail. Booty oh. shot. Oh, oh, bye, no. Drew. Wait. Drew. <laughs> oh, well, Dan's gonna turn into Spider Man oh. now. <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> I like this. All the characters got their own thing. Fire yeah. Swims in 15 minutes. <laughs> Come on, Ashley. You that was have a fan line. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. But it's just. It scares me. Oh, well, come on, Ashley. You're not Will. <laughs> there we go. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> go Face ahead, Tom. Fears, With this, we win. We couldn't find much information on you. So, oh we have a challenge that we know uh. might cause you some anxiety. <laughs> you must take off your mask. Uh, uh, I can't do uh, that. Uh, oh, this is, this takes place the year before GT2, so is it 2020 You're going to be fine. Yeah, <laughs> mate. Oh, oh. <laughs> Always been a Jansen is an anti-masker. Oh, Two no. Two years ago, <laughs> heat wave caused one near my family's farm. We lost part of the house. The animals Aww. and the crops. Aww. We haven't been able to fully recover after that. Uh -oh. But Mama no. didn't raise the quitter. Oh. This is the most proud I've been of adding my When I saw they got added, I was like, yes! 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 I got one! <laughs> oh. I looked to uh, I Hannah Montana to for reference for her and line. He so. and, that and then I realized mask? that Mama didn't raise no quitter was also said in the TD it's 2023. So I was like, dang it! It was! Oh, oh, no! Stole it. no. By, uh, Nichelle, I think, says it. <laughs> Hello, lawsuit? What? <laughs> Time is over, Ashley. I'm just Bloody copying. amazing. <laughs> Bloody, Bloody amazing. amazing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what in the Queen's uh, Gambit? What in the... <laughs> there exactly is a... Wins immunity is a and Nick Lawson. Rewards. There we go. Yeah! yeah! We lost because of you! Oh, Sorry. Gabby, tell him. Oh. Deal team, we'll see you at Gabby, the Gabby, Gabby. We'll have to Gabby. vote the second person out of Using the mask, man. <laughs> oh, it's Tam! Yeah. It's me! Oh my god. That's cute. <laughs> Odd Nations Discord, come join us. It doesn't us. matter if Tom wins the challenge. He's our yes. strongest member. We can't vote him out. Numbers are key in this game, and I'd rather be with him than against him. Hmm, smart yeah, man. Spread. Tom, Jake, Drew, <laughs> could I, uh, could I speak with you for a moment? He has more strategy than most uh, DC2 characters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, okay, saying it in front of Gret, probably not the best yeah, idea. <laughs> what's yeah. going on? Okay, so it brings him down a level some. again. <laughs> yeah, tell us. Taking advantage of the fact that there are four boys on our team, meaning us, we should vote for one of the girls. Sexist. Makes sense. <laughs> what would you hey. vote for? <laughs> Miriam or Gret? I'd rather vote for Gret. Uh, how about Gabby? Sometimes her attitude is somewhat erratic. Would you vote for her, Drew? <laughs> <laughs> well, music cue. They're like, so good with the music Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The boys were trying to get us out. Do you think I like so? this. This is a very, like, survivory kind of scene right here. It's great. Yeah, we true. We should vote together. Maybe I know it's like I the bare minimum, just talking to the board so it's right rest. I love it. <laughs> I was looking for you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, yeah. hey, Gret. How many of those does he have? Can he just the toss them all into the sea? <laughs> I found something you must yeah, as many uh, controllers as uh, Ali has switches. Uh, oh, it? yeah. Someone here has been watching you. What are you talking about? Drew, uh -oh. he has been writing down everything you do uh -oh. in mysterious oh. ways oh, to your snap. strange escapades oh. at all. Well, voice down. Here's <laughs> the, the, the quiet doesn't boy. doesn't trust you very much. <laughs> you can read it yourself. Whatever you're hiding, I'm sure he already knows or is close to finding out. The guys wanted to vote for you a while ago, but I managed to divert the attention to someone else. How about you return the favor? Uh-oh. No, uh -oh. wait. Sorry, I got LA Tyler flashback. Sorry. Welcome to your post elimination. Oh, God. Yeah, I got those from the thumbnail. Oh, no. Why are you blushing? I'd rather vote for someone else, but the boys alliance will get me farther. Oh, Dan, you naughty, naughty boy. Sorry, Gab. Just a little. 
You've cast your votes. Now I'll make your decision final. The person with the most votes must leave the camp. No. If somebody has an immunity totem, they'll need to present it before the votes are read. Then all Ooh, votes for that rules. player the like totem you. is used on will be nullified. That's always last season as well. First vote. Yeah. <laughs> Gabby. <laughs> Gabby. Uh-oh. Drew. Uh-oh. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Gabby. If Aiden was here, someone would have uh, thrown their vote away. <laughs> right. <laughs> Drew. That's two votes, Gabby. Two votes, Drew. Gabby. Huh. It can't be. Drew. Oh my That's God. three votes, Drew. Oh, yes. Three votes, Gabby. Cursive. One vote left. <laughs> Second person voted out of this venture cam. And the music <laughs> is swelling up. <laughs> Will one of us say the line? Uh, what? But how, that's rude. How, how but that that's happen? rude. <laughs> I'm confused. Huh. Weird. Drew. It's oh, weird. that is so weird. Um, <laughs> Tom's like, who could have done it? Yeah. Well, it wasn't oh, me. Ah, <laughs> uh, bye, Drew. Uh, bye, Drew. Oh, get me. <laughs> no. Bye bye. He's my episode three buddy now. Eliminated in episode three buddy. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> Is everything ready to start recording? Almost. We have a bit of. A Is that supposed to be a duck on, on Trevor? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> that would be so fun. Jensen, are you sure? Yeah, he's the only like one. Like a little I abstract duck. <laughs> <sense. laughs> Should have given it the sus bow as well. <laughs> That's a good episode. I love it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh man, favorite so far, and it only gets better. Yeah, yep. true. And my favorite as well. Oh, it's, it's so cute. adorable. Yes. What an episode. Yeah, what an episode indeed. I really like it. <laughs> and it's only gonna get better. I mean, it it wasn't wholly original. The the challenge itself <laughs> with the, the the fears and such. I mean, I, I can right. recall a certain total drama episode, uh, which which did a similar thing. But uh, the character interactions were nice. I, I What I appreciate about this season most, uh, it, it's going to feature in a couple of other episodes as well, is that uh, the, the alliance forming between people and um, right. uh, you really get a sense of why certain people are going home and why other, others yeah. aren't. Exactly. Well, actually talking to each other? Whoa. Strange. Yeah, dang. So oh my God. In, um, <laughs> that, that's, I think, the biggest difference between this venture camp and Total Drama. If this was Total Drama, then Tom would have definitely gone home here. Right. Because yeah. it, it was his mistake that they lost the, the episode there. No, barely any Fiori this episode as well. Actually. Yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, and true. Um, Alec continues a streak of doing absolutely nothing in these episodes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he went in, saw the oh challenge, had to get a haircut, and thought, nope, I'm out. Nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, did maybe Ali uh, learned from Alec. She's like, oh, that's the strategy yeah. I should use. I, I should <laughs> just stay hidden. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's interesting because uh, reading the script for this episode, I didn't get that vibe that, that Al, uh, uh, yeah. Alec was so much on the background, but he definitely right. is. Yeah, yeah, seeing it now, I'm like, oh. Yeah, it's it's good that Mike yeah. pointed it out too, because otherwise I may not have even caught onto it. But right now, Alec is three episodes in and he hasn't done anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. So either That's he's doing really bad or he's doing like really good. Who knows? <laughs> We don't know. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode. Yeah, thank you for having yeah. us. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, so I, I think I'm going to wrap it up here, which means it's time for uh, shout outs and uh, uh, pluggy plugs. Uh, uh, Tam, shall I start with you? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, you guys can um, find me on the Discord. I'm just Tam. Well, Jams or whatever my name is at the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm also on Instagram. I draw a little fan art. Uh, my name is uh, Kid Coolio. Uh, 17, I think. Shout out to all the Patreons, too. I love you guys. And Jobbert. Yeah, if you want to hear more uh, Kai and other silly voices, please uh, subscribe to the Golden Goose Productions <laughs> YouTube channel. We do a lot of Let's Plays with uh, my friends. We do really stupid voices, so maybe you'll enjoy that. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Danganronpa, we play Danganronpa. That's close enough to kill drama, right? Ooh. Basically the same thing, but with murder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but with murder, yeah. <laughs> and I'll add to that, uh, please go check out Odd Nation Cartoons yourself. Subscribe to the channel. Maybe if you have a little bit of money left, uh, throw it at them. Or throw it at me. Who knows? Just do both. <laughs> uh, if you want to, you can subscribe to the Silly Billy channel for more of these types of interviews and, of course, other videos. 
Uh, the other videos will come when I have time. For now, it's the interviews. Uh, I'm working on the Total Drama review. It's coming soon, I promise. <laughs> um, but for now, I thank you uh, very much for joining me, guys. Thank you so much. Good luck with the remaining voice actors. Some of them are kind of divas. <laughs> uh, no, kidding, well, kidding, it, it will be fine, I, I imagine. I'll, I'll tell every single one of them that you said that, so it will be... Uh, yeah. no. All their yeah, anger will be directed it, at you it. and not at me. No. <laughs> Hi guys, no more Kai. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up this episode. And I already saw that the trailer for the next episode is out too. So I guess I need to start preparing for that one. <laughs> anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if so, I hope to see you again next time. For now, this has been Silly Billy. And remember, Drew is a sheep for slaughter. Bye-bye.